Okay, welcome back, everybody, to SL Moonshine Channel. I'm your homeboy, the Hebrew homebrewer. And today, I still have that white cherry going on. Now, I have, again, I've, like I said, I'm going to leave this fruits in here for a month. I've noticed I have put, I put 10 pounds of sugar into this already. So it has 10 pounds of sugar, which is a lot, but it seems to stop bubbling. I'm going to give it a gravity reading to find out just where we at on the, um, sugar levels and again that'll continue on until next not this not not this wednesday no wait excuse me not this sabbath saturday but the following october will be like october the uh, let's say third fourth the sixth october the sixth if i'm correct let me see but no need it'll be october the sixth and that's when i'll uh, drain this into another container, remove all of the um, the fruits, squeeze it out, and then start to do the settling process where I uh, use tannins to remove all, to clarify, to make everything really clear, to get the clarity out of it. So right now, I'm going to um, try to do a little degassing with this thing. I'm not going to try it here. Original cap that came with the container. I just put this on, and give it a tight grip. Uh, shake it up. Take a swift skit. Shake it off. Uh, and wow, like no gas in there at all, huh? The temperature is reading at between 78, it's 80 degrees, a strong 80 degree. Between 78 and 82 are all, both giving off good temperature size, but it's a solid 80. <sighs> See it again. Uh, okay. There's really not much gas to be worried about now, huh? Let's see what we get. I'm going to do this. It's more than enough. Let's see. Okay. Uh, uh, take this puppy here. And see if I can do this without much fruit going in here. Let's see. Uh, improvising, boy. <laughs> improvising these little Subway cups and McDonald's cups. Come in handy. So disposable. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Mm. We're grabbing a reading of 1.020. It's almost there. Yeah, that's how I'm going to read that. 1.020 0 to, 1 0 is reading for this one. And that will give me, let me see. 1.020. Spec above 5%. So take this up to like 18%. Mm -hmm. My 13% alcohol. My 13% alcohol here. But what I'm doing is going to be absolute zero. Let's see, give it a shot. That yeah, bad, really good, really good. I can taste the alcohol in it, and I can also taste the flavors in it. Right now, it's dark. It's really dark. But when I let it sit and clear it up, you're going to be able to see me through this. I'm going to clarify that. Clear. It's going to get straight clarity out of this. It's going to be clear. Oof. Oh, the 
last strong. Oh. I'm a beer drinker. I'm a beer drinker. <laughs> I really don't drink water. But I like making it. Okay, let's get this back in here. And let's see. Okay. Well. No, wait a minute. I'm going to add something to this. Just to help it out. We're going to add this Fermat Yeast Nutrition to it. I've showed you this before. It's called, let's see if I can get it to focus on that. Fermat Yeast Nutrition. Maybe I'd have come in a BSG. So. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I'm not advertised. I'm not paid to promote these guys. So I got to stop doing that showing names of things like that. You know, something about the broadcasting going on. I don't want to be a bad standard and, and you know, deny what I, can, what I can gain from doing this. I'm not going to even measure it. I'm just going to go at it. If I can gain if I can profit from this, I don't want to lose advertising to a poor company that's not backing me. Back on that was speak. It's wicked. Let's see. I don't think I'll be sharing this after what just happened. I just did was rookie as ever. <laughs> I put way too much water in this airlock and it's uh, twice as more, much more water as it should be in there. But everything else is decent. I shouldn't have blew the air into this thing like I did, causing the water from here to go down in there and then the air pushing the water back out into my face. That wasn't cool. But hey, this is experiment number one. It's been a while since I've done this, but it's like riding a bike, you never forget. <laughs> so, I know I got at least 13% alcohol in there, and that's 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 really good. 13% is really good. But I want to get this up stronger than 13%. So I put that in uh, neat yeast nutrition in there, and that's going to allow this thing to, uh, the yeast to keep doing this thing. I should add a little more yeast to it just for the heck of it. Just make sure it rides. And, yeah, but nah, it'll do it. Let it ride, keep doing what it do, and 
it'll produce more alcohol and I get it up to that 18% or higher. It's almost bitter, bitter, you know, it's a little sweet, but it's almost bitter. Once I once it hits bitter, then I know, hey, it's over 18% because I put enough sugar in there to go to at least 22%. But that's where we're at now. Yeah, that's where we do. Oh, let's see the guns on the show. Let's see the guns. Uh, let's see the guns. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So again, we're doing pretty good here. Uh, that's it for now. I'll come back to you next week. Now I'll post this video soon, but I'll come back to you again around the uh, 6th of November and I'll record then. That's when I record the, I mean, sorry, the 6th of October. That's when I record me transferring this into a bucket, squeezing out all the flavor and the juices and then start adding tannins because I really wanted to get this clear. So I want to clear this up really good and then let it sit. I'll probably let this sit to November, which is my birthday, November the 6th. And I'll let this sit and clarify the flavors kick in really good and it does what it do once it ages itself for another month. And then it'll be ready for me to drink or do what I want to do, pass out. Pass on to friends and stuff like that. But sometime in October, at the same time, I'll start another batch and I'll record that. I'm not exactly sure what kind I'll make. Probably just be some simple tea or honey tea or lemon tea flavor wine, which I really do like. And I'll let you guys in with that one as I do that one, which is the easiest to clear up. It's the best kind to make. <laughs> All right. Have a good time. And don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video. And hit that subscribe button for me, too. Have a good day, man.